And thanks so much for tuning into the Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth. We are continuing on in the book of Psalms. Today we're going to be in Psalm chapter 24. Hopefully you enjoyed Psalm 23. My prayer is that you experienced healing yesterday, that you experienced his his touch, his love, his embrace, the Prince of Peace, uh, the the uh, the wonderful Counselor, the Almighty. That was my prayer yesterday, and I pray that you experience that today. We're going to be talking about the sovereignty of God, that He is above anything and everything. Now, I know that the presidential election is coming up, and I know that there's some hostility there. I know that there is some division within our country. One thing we have to understand is who we serve. One thing we have to understand is that Jesus is Lord. He is King of kings, Lord of lords. And so I want to encourage you to vote. We have the freedom. We have the honor to do that. So I want to encourage you to do that. And I want you to pray. Pray before you vote and pray for this country this world, it is broken, it is lost, and we cannot put our trust in humankind, mankind. We cannot do that because when we do, they will fall short. But what we need to do is understand the sovereignty of God. And this is my prayer is that as we read Psalm 24 is that we would recognize who he is and whose we are. Listen, Psalm 24, starting verse 1. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it. Again, not some person, but the Lord. The world and all who live in it, that's you and I. For he founded it on the seas and established it on the waters. Who may ascend the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? And then he's talking about what we need to do and come to the Lord in this way. The one who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not trust in an idol or swear by a false god. They will receive blessing from the Lord and vindication from God their Savior. Such is the generation of those who seek him, who seek his face, O God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, you gates, be lifted up, you ancient doors. What king of glory may come in? Who is this king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Then it's like he goes on and repeats himself. Lift up your heads, you gates. Lift them up, you ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is he, the King of glory? The Lord Almighty, he is King of glory. There is a way that King David here is writing this in such a way that is uh, poetic, in a way that we can actually memorize uh, these verses here. And what what better way to memorize this idea of the sovereignty of God? We can get stuck in the weeds sometimes, and we can put our trust and dependency upon a man or upon their values. I don't know about you, but I want to put my trust and my values, my dependency upon the word of God. That's what I'm going to hold on to because this doesn't fail. This is without error. This does not give empty promises. Everything that is said here has and will become fulfilled. And so let's put our trust and dependency on God Almighty, His sovereignty, all-powerful, mighty counselor, God. Thanks so much for tuning in. Make sure you tune tomorrow for the Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth.